Be profitable and faithful. Matthew chapter 25 verses 20 to 23. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents saying, Lord, you delivered to me five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents beside them. His Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You are faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also had received two talents, came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents beside them. His Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. As we continue in this parable of the talents, we see here that on the day of reckoning, the, the two servants came to the Lord. The one who had five, who had multiplied it, who doubled it, who now had ten, presented that to the master. The one who had two, doubled it, had four now, he presented it to the master. And to both of them, the master responds in a very similar way. He says, well done, good and faithful servant. He commends them for two important characteristics or traits that he sees as important, things that he commends in the way they handled what was given to them. He says, you have been good and you've been faithful. The word good in the Greek literally has to do with being beneficial, being profitable. You've been a profitable servant and you've been a faithful servant. So there are these two traits or these two marks that the Lord is looking in our lives and how we handle what he has given to us. God entrusts to each of us something, some grace, some gifts, each one according to the ability, according to the call of God, according to the purpose he has, according to the assignment he's given to us. And as we journey through life, he wants us to be profitable and he wants us to be faithful. Profitable means I am bearing fruit with what God has entrusted to me. You know, in the, in the, in the, in the picture of the, the wine, the branches in John the 15th chapter, you find the Lord Jesus once again emphasizing fruitfulness as a very important key. Jesus says, as you will recall in John 15, he says, I am the wine. My father is husbandman. And then he says, every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes it so that it can bear more fruit. And then he says, he tells us what is the secret to fruitfulness is you abide in me, my words abide in you. And then in verse 8, he says, in this my father is glorified if you bear much fruit. So fruitfulness is an important thing. God wants us to be fruitful in the kingdom of God. And that's what he rewards. He rewards profitability. He rewards fruitfulness. The other thing he rewards is faithfulness. Faithfulness means to be sincere and to be trustworthy. Sincere means you're honest, you're genuine, you're doing it with, a, with all your heart. And trustworthy means you're being reliable, you're being dependable. God can, is, is, you're worthy of the trust that God has placed in you. So he's looking for us to be fruitful and he's looking for us to be faithful. And that's what he commends. That's what he rewards. He says, well done, thou good and profitable or fruitful servant. And well done, thou faithful servant. God commends that. Let us grow in these two areas of being profitable or fruitful and being faithful. That is being sincere and being trustworthy, reliable, dependable in what God has called us to do as we use what he has entrusted us with. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we pray that we will make use of the grace and the gifts that you've given to us in such a way that when we stand there on the day of reckoning, we will hear, well done, good and faithful servant. That we will be profitable, fruitful people and that we will be faithful, sincere, reliable, dependable in, in the way we use what you've entrusted to us. Give us the grace to do this. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.